In Oro Valley, a town council divided the issue what to do about one of their own. Councilman Mike Zinnick is accused of making offensive remarks to town employees. Kagan on your side's Whitney Clark joins us live. And Whitney, what did town leaders decide tonight? Well, Stella, according to records from the town clerk, Councilman Zinkin had nine prior incidents over a three-year period, including allegations of verbal sexual harassment. In 2012, a town employee said he used a derogatory term in a work-related conversation. The employee did admit to investigators that she responded with profanity, and Zinkin later apologized. But some town leaders say Zinkin shows a repeated pattern of this inappropriate behavior. Tonight, the council voted to enforce an existing Existing policy. Zinkin will have to go through the city manager before having contact with town employees. At the October 21st Oro Valley Town Council meeting, Mike Zinkin made these comments while discussing a community project that had been a long process. I had more gray hair and Joe had hair, and Lisa. Uh, Lisa's got a couple more people in her family right now <laughs> when this thing first started. What has been going on? And Byer is still trying to grow a beard. So, uh... <laughs> oh. The town employees he was referring to offended by his remarks about their physical appearance. While the Oral Valley Human Resource Director said Wednesday those remarks weren't severe, they represent a pattern of unprofessional behavior. At tonight's meeting, the council discussing what they can do to create a safe working environment. Oral Valley leaders say in the past Zinkin was given written and verbal warnings. The councilman visibly frustrated, saying this was an assassination of his character and that when he made the remarks, other council members laughed. It's interesting that I didn't create a hostile work environment by law. I didn't sexually harass anybody. And you know what's really interesting is I'm the one who brought forth the code of conduct. Zinkin left the room for most of the 90-minute discussion. Mayor Satish Hiremath making it clear up for debate wasn't whether or not Zinkin said anything offensive, but what can the council do to prevent further incidents? Some of Zinkin's supporters say the whole thing was overkill. He's here because we put him in office, so to tell him he can't interact with people when he's doing his job, I think it was too much. So in the end, I think it came to the right decision. The council will also ask Zinkin to apologize to the employees he offended. He was the target of a recent recall election but kept his seat. From the newsroom, Whitney Clark, KGAN 9, on your side. Whitney